Hey everybody, how's it going? This is Eric Parker with One Number Tableau Education and Consulting Experts. And today's video goes out to all of you Excel people. Uh, so I get questions sometimes about how can you do certain types of functions in Tableau. So today we're going to cover how would you do sum if uh, and count if functions in Tableau the way that they are in Excel. Okay, so I think the first thing is let's just do a quick review of Excel. Like what are we talking about in case maybe you don't really come from Excel, but you're still following along or maybe you're just a little rusty on it, right? So the sum if and the count if functions, what these basically allow you to do in Excel is I would say something like, okay, this, this first function here, sum if anything in the column K equals California. And what are you summing? Column R. So basically this 400, is it 457,000? This sales amount right here is, is going, okay, go to column K, which is my state field in this superstore data set. And it is going, cool, anytime that it's California, you know, go over here, go to the sales column and sum that value. So it's summing the California values, but anything where the state does not equal California is not being included in that sum, okay? And I don't really have like an example all queued up, but you can also do the same thing for like, you know, dollar amounts, like, oh, sum the value if it's greater than a hundred bucks, or you can do counts and count is basically a row count, right? So count this row uh, if state equals California or if the amount is more than certain dollar amount, okay? So how do we do that kind of thing in Tableau, right? So I think the first thing that I would say is, you might just be able to do it with filters, right? So if I've got a worksheet here, it says, what was the total revenue from California sales where the transaction amount was $2,000 or greater? So this would be like, um, you know, in, in Excel, you can do multiple sum ifs. This would be like that. So in this case, I'm going to go ahead and grab my overall sales field and then just put this on text in the marks card. And uh, so this 2.2 million, this is all sales added together, right? So now I'm going to filter on state. So I'll put uh, state on the filter shelf and just pick California. Okay, so just our California sales is 457,000. And then we want to know transaction amounts or sales amounts greater than 2,000. So I put sales on the filters card and I'll say sum of sales, uh, or actually no, rather all values. Um, so sum of sales would say is the total sum of all California sales greater than a certain amount, and it's definitely greater than 2,000. All values test um, the numeric values at the individual row level. So if we've got a thousand rows of California sales, it's gonna go through them one by one and say, oh, that one's a hundred bucks, no. That one's 5,000 bucks, yes. So I say all values, and I'll say it has to be at least 2,000, okay? So our answer here is what was the total revenue from California sales where the transaction amount was $2,000 plus, it is $90,000. Okay, so I would say if you're just doing kind of a quick one-off analysis like that, filters are your friends. I think that's the easiest way to do it. One of the things get a little more complex, right? So I can think of a situation, um, and actually this would be a, I'm gonna do count if here, just do a quick update there how many total transactions in California had sales greater than or equal to $2,000? How did that compare to the count of transactions in New York where sales was greater than or equal to 1,500? Okay, well, right, we've got a lot going on now. There's actually two different, cri there's actually two different questions, each with their own two criteria. So a simple filter is probably not gonna do it for you anymore, unless you did two separate worksheets, which is fine. Um, but let's say we wanna do this with a calculated field. We can do that. Right, so I'm gonna go ahead and create a calculated field and I'll start by using the state field, okay? So I'll call this um, transaction count California 2000 plus. Okay, so how does this work? I will say if state equals California in quotes and sales is greater than or equal to 2,000, then one, end. That's it. So the one is just gonna give us, is it, we're gonna sum those ones together. In fact, we could even write that in here if we want to, either way. So sum every row where the state is California and the sales is greater than or equal to 2,000. So let's put that on columns to see that bar length. So we are looking at 27 transactions for California. 
Now, how does that compare to those New York transactions? So let me go ahead and duplicate that calculated field. Now let's edit that duplication. So this will be transaction New York 1.5K plus. So just a quick swap here. I'm going to get rid of where it says California, say New York, instead of 2,500. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and grab transaction count New York. Go ahead and I'm going to do a shared axis bar chart. So they'll both be side-by-side -side bars. I think that's kind of nice for a comparison. So I'll go ahead and drop our New York bar on the California bar axis. And now we probably want to <laughs> do quite a bit of formatting changes here. But you can see there's 39 transactions in New York of 1,500 plus versus 27 in California with 2,000 plus. So that is sort of the you know calculated field approach to a count if, okay? And so how would you do some if? Well, it would just be like, instead of a one there for a row count, you just put like sales, and then that would be summarizing um, those sales together. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and post a copy of this workbook on Tableau Public. I'll drop the link in the description below. So if you wanna pull this out, download it, check it out, you can do that. And I'll go ahead and write a couple extra calculated fields in here as well. Um, so that if you want to, you know, do some deep diving and maybe kind of, you know, um, use them as a template for what you're doing, then, uh, then you can do that. So thank you for following along with the One Number YouTube channel. We will be back at you next week with a number, another uh, Tableau tutorial. So thanks so much and we'll talk to you soon.